What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988, coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And if you guys don't know this, about once a year I make a video in support of the Game Awards ever since it got rebooted by Jeff Keighley and his crew. Um, in fact, we even participated in the first rebooted Game Awards. Uh, I gave, This is the card I read to give away the trending gamer uh, to Total Biscuit the year that he won. I got to announce it, me and I, Justine. Um, now, <laughs> this Game Awards video is going to be extra special because not only am I going to do what I always do, which is take a look at the nominees and talk about some of the games and stuff that got nominated, but, uh, well, <laughs> if you go to the fans' choice stuff, which we normally ignore, uh, esports player and esports team and stuff like this, there is Trending Gamer, and under Trending Gamer, oh, let's see if we recognize some of this, these people. There is uh, Angry Joe, I recognize him. There's Boogie2988. <laughs> There is Danny O'Dwyer, there is Jack Septicai, and there's Lyric. And if you wanted me to win this thing, let's be honest, for me to beat somebody like Angry Joe or Danny or Jack or even Lyric, I would need every single person that watched this video to go to the website and click cast your vote and tweet this out the way that it has you do. Um, that's the only way I could win this thing. But they often say, number one, it doesn't hurt to try. And I think that's true. And they often say, what kind, why did they use that picture? They also say, um, it's an honor just to be nominated, and it is exactly that. So I will be at the Game Awards this year just in case I win. Fingers crossed. So let's take a look at the nomination nominations for these different categories. Game of the Year. Uh, we got Doom by Id. We got uh, Inside. Did not play Inside. Played Doom, though. Overwatch, I've played extensively. Titanfall 2, I've played about 10 hours now. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. I played, couldn't bring myself to finish it. Too much sneaky sneaky in there for me. Uh, otherwise a beautiful game and I did watch the ending of it on YouTube even though I didn't take the time to, to beat it I think I got three-fourths of the way in uh, who do I think will win this and then who would I give it to that's the way I'm going to consider this I would say based on the overall playtime I have put 100 hours into the beta of Overwatch and then I put some 50-60 hours into the live I think Overwatch might very well have it for me personally uh, I loved what they did with Titanfall 2 I loved what they did with Uncharted 4 I, I did not play on side, but I love what they did with Doom. All of those games are great. I think I personally would give it to Overwatch. I think that the committee, the jury, will give it to Uncharted 4. That's my opinion. I think this is a more well-rounded game. Overwatch has no single player, um, but I think they will give it to Uncharted 4. Uh, next up, best studio slash game direction. So, I mean, you're just, just looking at the studio, that's one thing, but looking at the direction they took it for the game. So, Blizzard for Overwatch and the way they did Overwatch. DICE and for the way they did Battlefield 1. ID Software for the way that they did Doom. Naughty Dog for the way they did Uncharted. And Respawn for the way they did Titanfall 2. And I can already tell you right off the bat, the company that I think did the best 180 and made their game for the consumers instead of for profit, I think easily would have to be Respawn. Because... All these other companies just kind of did what they do, right? Doom did Wolfenstein. They brought this type of shooter back before. DICE has done Battlefield before. And even though Battlefield 1 is in a much better direction than the previous Battlefield games and is a much higher quality as well, I, I really feel like that's just kind of uh, their usual thing. Blizzard do doing here what they always do, taking a game and making it their best, taking a concept and making their game the best one of that concept. Uh, Naughty Dog doing what they always do, which is making incredible powerhouse games, but Titanfall, the difference between Titanfall 1 and Titanfall 2 is, is mind-boggling. Uh, this, this is a company, this is a studio that learned their lesson and put it to work. So I would give it to Respawn. Now I think, I think DICE will probably get it for Battlefield 1. That's who I think the jury will select. I would easily give it to Respawn. Here is Best Narrative. Um, and this always, always goes to an indie company, right? Uh, last year, I think it went for her story. We got uh, Firewatch, we got Inside, we got Mafia 3, we got Oxen Free, and we got Uncharted 4. And Uncharted 4 is a great storyline. It's a really, really good narrative, and it has a lot of good twists and turns. I definitely enjoyed this game, um, even though I didn't finish it. I watched the last half of it online. I have no clue what Oxen Free is. That's probably some iPad game I know nothing about. I would be surprised if it's not, if it's not that. Mafia 3, I avoided because I don't think the reviews were that great. Uh, the PC port wasn't very good. I do want to go back and play it, but I'm waiting for him to patch the PC version. Inside, um, I again, I need to go download this game. I, I probably will go download it tonight and start playing through it tonight. And then, of course, Firewatch, we played on stream, and I uploaded this entire gameplay, I think, to my gameplay channel as well. And I was really surprised. Short, but really good narrative. I really enjoyed unsol uh, solving this mystery with you guys. Well, I, because I haven't played every game here, I might choose this one wrong, but I would bet 
I would bet that Inside, because based on everybody's reaction to this game, and all the YouTubers have freaked out about it, I bet Inside's who the jury's going to choose. I haven't played it, so that really puts me between Uncharted 4 and Firewatch. And I'm going to say that Naughty Dog, who deserves all the love in the world, did what they always do, which is make an incredible story. And it is a really good story. Firewatch came out of nowhere. So I would recognize uh, Campo Santo, whoever the hell these people were. You surprised me with a really weird and unusual game. Good job, guys. I would give it to you. Here we have Best Art Direction. Uh, this is always very subjective, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Abzu, which I know nothing about. Firewatch, which did look gorgeous. Uh, really love the way the fire actually looked in that game. Inside, again, looks gorgeous, everything I've seen about it. Overwatch has such an incredible impact. And Uncharted 4 looks like a Naughty Dog game, so... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Firewatch. I'm sorry, Abzu. I'm sorry, Inside. I think both... I think Overwatch could win this because their art... Let's be honest, their art inspired porn. Their art inspired porn. Is there, is there Firewatch porn? No. Is there Uncharted 4 porn? Yes, but still... I think easily, I think easily, Overwatch had the biggest impact when it came to art, whether it's the sets, the characters, anything. Holy crap, did that game win in art direction. Easy. Here's the category we don't always consider very much. Best music and sound. Battlefield 1, music's pretty good. Doom, the music, and, oh man, the music is good in Doom. Wow, that's an easy choice, I think. Inside, which again, I haven't played. Res Infinite, I did not play. I hear this is good on PlayStation VR. Thumper, which is also PSVR, was supposed to be really, really good. I don't know much about Thumper. I don't know much about Res Infinite. I don't know much about Inside. I do know a lot about these two games. I would give it to Doom. Anybody's guess here. I do know when I talked to Jeff, Jeff said Thumper is amazing. I need to play that. I already own it. I just haven't played it. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play it. We'll play it this weekend. And I maybe Thumper will do it. I hear, the, I hear the audio on it is supposed to be pretty good. I give it to Doom, though. Man, that soundtrack was great. Here's best performance. This tends to go to an individual uh, actor or actress. We have Alex Hernandez as Lincoln Clay in Mafia 3. Haven't played it. Uh, Sissy Jones as Delilah in Firewatch. She was wonderful in that game. She made that game, actually. And she did a very good job of it. Uh, Emily Rose as Alina in Uncharted 4. She was wonderful there, too. Loved her character, loved everything about her. Nolan North as Nathan Drake, as usual, Nolan North. Can we get a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, at home for no no Nolan North, who can do no wrong. Rich Summer as Henry, I loved him in Mad Men, I loved him in that game. Uh, Troy Baker as Sam Drake, of course, Troy Baker also can do no wrong. I will tell you, though, and I, I guess I'm showing my cards here, I <laughs> I guess you guys could tell I really enjoyed Firewatch. I would I would easily give it to Sissy Jones. Uh, in Firewatch, and I think I think that we might even see her chosen uh, by the jury as well because she did an incredible job, incredible job. I'm sorry, Nolan. I'm sorry, Troy. You guys are amazing, but sissy, you knocked it out of the park. Here is Games for Impact Award. I think this was Games for Good last year. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. This is a category you guys can be weird about. Uh, so I worry about what I have to say here. 1979 Revolution. Never heard of it. Blockhood, never heard of it. Orwell, never heard of it. Sea Hero Quest, never heard of it. That Dragon Cancer, I have heard about this one, and I hear that it's a tearjerker for sure. I I have no comment. I know none of these games. It's sad because if these are the games that are supposed to impact us, um, in you know socially and emotionally, and we haven't, if I haven't heard about these games. What am I doing with my? Here's best independent game. Curious to see what comes up here. Of course, Firewatch. Uh, Hyper Light Drifter. Inside. Stardew Valley, which was a triumph. Even though it's kind of, you know, them taking a concept and making it their own. What a weird version of that it was. And The Witness. Well, man, again, I've played only a limited number of these games. I've heard good, good things about The Witness. I haven't heard anything about Hyper Light Drive Drifter. That's interesting. Um, but here, I would give this to Stardew Valley. What a deep and incredible game. If you like that type of game, there is all the game in the world for you. And it just plain got weird. Yeah, here's a category I normally know nothing about. But this year, I know a lot. Because this has been the year of mobile games for me. PewDiePie's game, Pokemon Go, all of those games. Uh, Clash Royale. Yeah, I played it. I stopped playing it after about three days because it's way too dependent on spending money. Fire Emblem Fates. I guess this is, uh, what, Nintendo 3DS? 
I, I'm not a huge fan of the Fire Emblem series. I just don't like that kind of combat, so I can't really comment here. Monster Hunter Generations. I have played several Monster Hunter games, and I played the Final Fantasy style uh, Monster Hunter game, or well, Final Fantasy branded Monster Hunter game. Um, I don't know. I, 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 too grindy for me, I guess you could say. Uh, too time consuming. Pokemon Go, though, Severed. I don't know what Severed is. Doesn't matter. Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go wins. That's easily the mobile game of the year. Why even try? We all really, really liked that game and then really, really hated it right afterwards. But still, easily. Social phenomenon. Here we go. Best VR game. Well, I, ha I know I have not played all of these, but I have played quite a few. This has also been the year of VR for me. Ooh, Batman Arkham VR. Well, we'll talk about that game a little bit. Eve Valkyrie, that's on my to play list. Job Simulator, I played on two or maybe three different formats now. Res Infinite and Thumper. I think Jeff has a thing. Jeff Keighley, who's part of the jury, I think, of, uh, of the Game Awards. Obviously, the, the presenter and the, pretty much the owner of the thing. I, he's told me I need to play Thumper. So now I know I need to play Thumper. Res Infinite, I've seen played. It looks amazing. Haven't played in a VR. Job Simulator, I played to death. Eve Valkyrie's on my to playlist. I would say out of all of these games, though, from what I've seen, Batman VR is incredible. And the reason I say this is where it's very, very light. There's only an hour of gameplay to it, and it doesn't have much replayability to it, and it is overpriced. It proves what a AAA VR game could be, and because of that, uh, all of these games are great, but they're more indie style. This is what a AAA VR game could be. I would give it to this because it blew me away. Love all of these games, but that was the one that melted my heart and my brain. Best action game, well, Battlefield 1, amazing. Doom, amazing. Gears of War, very, very good. Overwatch, very, very good, amazing. Titanfall 2, amazing. This is a tough category. Um, but I would say the action that feels the most intense was Doom. And the action that feels the most balanced is Overwatch. The action that feels just the most realistic is Battlefield 1. I think they'll give it to Battlefield 1 in this category. I might give it to Doom here. I might give it to Doom here just because it it's enthralling. I was I felt like adrenaline was slowing every time I played that game. Best action-adventure game. Not uh, just action, but action-adventure here. Uh, Dishonored 2. I still haven't played it because the PC port is terrible. Hitman, I did not play because they set it up as a serialized thing and I wanted to wait till it was fully out. Is it fully out yet? Ratchet and Clank, uh, I have a lot of people who played it and I watched a YouTuber play this almost in its entirety. Uncharted 4, I did play quite a bit. Hyperlight Drifter, I have no clue about. Uh, with this, I think I'm a better at, at guessing who is going to get this. And I'm going to give it to Dishonored 2. I think that's who the jury is going to select. Why we haven't seen it mentioned in very many other categories... Uh, and the game is critically acclaimed at a 90. It's just the PC port is bad, and that's why I haven't been able to play it. Uh, Uncharted 4 could easily take this category, and based on the games that I've played, I would easily give it to Uncharted 4, though. Best role-playing game, uh, we got Dark Souls 3, Deus Ex, The Witcher 3, which this is DLC, but still, really big DLC, uh, Legion, which is also DLC, uh, and Xenoblade Chronicles. Well, I, I, Xenoblade Chronicles, I did not complete. I did not complete the tutorial because the tutorial is so long. Uh, World of Warcraft Legion, I have played probably 40 hours of at least. Uh, I never had the time to find uh, the time to play Blood and Wine, though. Uh, Deus Ex, I played about halfway through. I enjoyed what I played. Dark Souls 3, not my kind of game, so I, don't, I know nothing about this. Dark Souls 3 is too difficult for me. My choice here would probably be obvious. World of Warcraft Legion brought me back to Warcraft and gave me, uh, Warcraft and gave me a reason to love it again. Um, who do I think will get it? I think they might give it to, uh, they'll probably give it to Deus Ex. I think, I think it's popular enough and we haven't seen it mentioned in a lot of other places and they like to spread around the love. I think it might be Deus Ex. Best fighting game. I know what my choice is here. I guarantee you. It, it better be on the list. Uh, Killer Instinct Season 3. Superbly well done. Got me back into Killer Instinct, though I'm not that deep into it. King of Fighters 14. Have not played. Pocket Tournament. Man, I put a lot of time into Pocket Tournament. I really like Pocket Tournament and Street Fighter V, which, let's just be frank, critically panned. They try, they kind of dropped the ball on that one. I would be very surprised if Street Fighter V wins, and it would not be my personal choice. Pocket Tournament, I don't think, is deep enough and popular enough to win here, though I think it might be my favorite. Uh, though I probably need to go ahead and pick up King of Fighters fourteen. Uh, I probably should learn a little bit about that, and I also really enjoyed Killer Instinct. I, I'm definitely I will give it to I will give it to Pocket Tournament. That's my personal choice. I'm guessing at who I think they'll choose, and I, 
It's based only because I know so little of it. I think they'll give it to King of Fighters, just as a guess. Best family game. Uh, this is not a category I'm very good at. Dragon Quest Builders looks really fun. Uh, it really does. Not very popular, though. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Mm, didn't play it. Pokemon Go, of course, I played. Is that a family game, though? How many babies have cell phones? I know. I guess you could play it on one cell phone with your family. And it gets them out and moving and walking. Man, maybe that deserves it. Ratchet & Clank was really fun to watch. Skylanders, Imaginators. I own all of them already. <laughs> I just haven't had the time to play them or even unbox them for you guys. <laughs> but I own them. <laughs> and the game looks good this year. I love, like, building your own heroes. That's pretty cool. I honestly don't know who to give it to. I would give it to Pokemon Go. And maybe they'll win this one, too. Best strategy game. Oh, boy. This is going to be a category I will not know much about. Fire Emblem Fates. Mm. Banner Sagas 2. Mm. Total War Warhammer. Man. XCOM 2. Man, everybody loved that game other than me. This is not my genre. I do not like this genre. I, I haven't even bought Civilization 6 yet. So your guess is as good as mine. I'm going to randomly guess XCOM 2 because everyone I know loves that game. Also, best sports and racing game. Come on. Come on. You know me. FIFA 17. Didn't play it. I've never played a FIFA game. Forza Horizon, MLB The Show, NBA 2017, Pro Evolution Soccer. You just tell me who you think is going to win. The only game here I played is Forza Horizon 3, and I only played it very briefly. Man, I love me some Forza, though. And finally, we are ending with a category I know quite a bit about, which is best multiplayer game. Usual suspects here. Battlefield 1, amazing. Gears of War, very good. Overcooked? Did not play this. Saw this play. The looks hysterical. Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege. Wow, surprised to see that there. Titanfall 2. The Titanfall 2 experience, multiplayer experience, is really, really good. But again, how do I not give it to my favorite? I'm going to give it to Overwatch. I'll give it to Overwatch, maybe Battlefield 1. I think in my heart of hearts, those two are tied as just some really good games. But I, I'm always going to prefer Overwatch. Jeez. All right, well, that looks like we finished just in time. Uh, my, my wife's guests are showing up for her book club, so I'm going to go entertain those guys for a little while. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed me doing my little predictions here. I'm very, ever, very rarely ever right at this, but it's fun to guess, and it's fun to share it with you guys. Um, but we could be right about Trending Gamer if you go and vote, and I hope that you do. Guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much. I'll speak with you again soon.